Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create a 4 clover design in Illustrator. So what you want to do is you want to head over to your star tool. If you can't find your star tool and it's just a rectangle like this, you just want to hold it in for a second and select your star tool instead. Then you want to go out to your artboard and instead of clicking and dragging like this to create a star, what you want to do, you just want to click once to open up the star uh, menu here. So when creating a clover, you want to use three arms per leaf on the clover. So if you want to make a four leaf clover, which is the one that works the best for, uh, you want to select 12 arms for the star. If you're creating a three leaf clover, you select nine. Or say you wanted to create something like a five leaf clover, you can do 15. But like I said, I'm going to do 12 and a four leaf clover for this one. For the radius, you want to choose something fairly big for the outside radius. So I'm going to go for say like 70, maybe even 80 on the outside radius. And I'm going to go for 15 on the inside radius. So this needs to be uh, quite a bit smaller than the outside. If you're making one with more leaves, like say five or six leaves, these two can be more similar, but you will just have to play around with the settings a little bit. So I'm going to hit OK just to create my star. You can see we have one with a small inner radius and a big outer radius there. The next thing you want to do is you want to head over to your direct selection tool or this one up here. So you can either click it up here or you can just press A on your keyboard. And just click outside the shape once so you deselect the current shape. Then you want to go ahead and select uh, three arms at a time. Because remember you need three arms per leaf. So these three will turn into a leaf, these three, these three, and these three, and so on. So select the top three, right click, and average both. So when you make sure you hit both, hit OK. Select the other ones, average, and both. And you just want to make sure you do that with all of the arms on your star, just so, so they're all grouped nicely together like that. Now, uh, with the direct selection tool still, just click outside the shape so you deselect. And then go ahead and select all these shapes in the middle here. So hold down shift and select all these shapes in the middle. So don't do the corners, just do the ones in, in the inside of the shape. Right click and average these as well with both. Okay. And that will give you kind of this cross in the middle of the shape. So now that you have done that, there's only one more step left. You want to just, with your still direct selection tool, select the whole shape. And you see these little uh, circles out here. You can use them to kind of make curves on your shape. Just grab one of those and pull it in. And once you pull it in, you can see you now have your clover shape. But you also have these like weird arms that we need to get rid of. So we're going to solve two problems at once. First of all, this, now with my normal selection tool, this is now just one shape. So I can't really like individually move the leaves or anything like that. But with the direct selection tool and the white arrow, I can delete all these points on the outside. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of those. And that will obviously get rid of the points, but it will also separate these leaves from one another. So if I use my selection tool again, I can now go in and I can move one leaf at a time. So they're all now disconnected into separate leaves. And after that, you can obviously go ahead and color these as you wish. But that's, that's it for today. That's the four leaf clover design in Illustrator. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for watching, guys.